What is going on everybody? I'm back again with another video and I am back again in Branch Street Park in Newark, New Jersey and throughout this year it's the best season to come over here because over here this is the park with the largest collections of cherry blossoms around this area and around the United States with over 5,000 cherry blossoms right here and this is literally like the bloom season. Every time I come it's almost over but this is like probably the highest season the blooming season and i see a lot of people hanging out here also they call it like the cherry blossoms festival so so far i just got off the light well i'm walking around here and it looks pretty gorgeous this is only like a little piece but i'm gonna walk around and show you guys what's happening around here so join me over here is like you're walking around a tunnel of colors you see the people i think the best shots is if i go in the other side so i'm gonna try to make my way to the other side to see if i can get a better shot this is amazing you see people, you see families, you know, white, pink color. Let's see if I can go around the other side and see what's going on. Wow, this is like the first time I see this like in this high peak and a lot of people. Wow, this is awesome. There's a lot of people over there, but I'm going to walk over here. I think this one over here has less people. This one's like fully gloomed, so let me show you. This one over here is nice. So you can see a lot of people hanging out here under the trees. Let me just get a close-up to see what it looks like underneath. It's pretty nice. Let me just show you like a close-up detail. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Got all this surrounded here, you know, a lot of people that come in and take their pictures. It's like a fairy tale. And it's all actually Japanese cherry blossoms. And then keep in mind, this is a massive park. Most of it is around this area. I'm going to walk ahead and there's a lake. But also if you go in the Belleville side of this park, this park is between Newark and Belleville. There's also like another season where they got a lot of cherry blossoms, but we're going to walk around here. It keeps going literally all over this over here. This is just plain gorgeous. Yeah, so far it's pretty cool and a lot of people from all over Jersey and other parts of the region, they come over here to get the pictures with this. You know, this is pretty famous. This park is super famous for this season for the cherry blossoms. You can see what's going on over here. Everybody hanging out there, taking their pictures. But now I'm going to cross the other side because there's more happening. I just got to figure out how can I cross the street. It's going to be a little bit intense, but I'll figure it out. So here I made it to the other side. This area has mostly like the white cherry blossoms, but it's still pretty beautiful. And I can see a lot of cars are parked over there. You know, people come from all over. They park the cars and then they come here to explore beauty that this park has to offer especially during the spring season but now i'm going to cross the street and the other side and show you what's going on but it's over here still nice now this area over here is pretty standard but there's actually like a lake over there and it gives like a lot of beauty but if you walk to the other way in the end it's gonna be literally like if you're walking under a tunnel of trees even better a tunnel of trees you know covering flower the flowers Let's walk around here and see what can we find. So this is the other side of the park. Today the weather's a little bit on the chillier side, but I imagine when it warms up, this over here is popping this park. You can hear the kids, you know. <laughs> Even some people, they bought a tent. I guess they just camp and chill over there. And most of the people here, the visitors are not from around here, but this is like an attraction that you can find in Newark, New Jersey. You know, no one doesn't get like a best of a reputation, but like every city has its good and bad. And here's pretty nice. The fountain over here and over there, you got a beautiful cathedral in the back, Sacred Hall Basilica Church, which is like an icon, you know, while New York City got St. Patrick's, Newark has Sacred Heart. And the park keeps going all the way in the front and there's more cherry blossoms, but we're gonna walk over here because I think the best attraction is over that way. Like I said, this is a pretty big park. Let me see, uh, I see like some tents. I don't know if they got some activity. Then they got this over here where people can take pictures. Lots of people come with their family, you know, they spend a good time. And that's what I love to see, you know, I love to see people having a great time with their loved ones and their family. That's what, you know, what life is about. Simple things like this makes it pretty beautiful. But now I'm gonna walk ahead and like I say, I haven't been here since last year, but I'm going to see what's happening in the front. And ahead of me, I'm seeing some pretty cool stuff. It literally looks like a postcard. All this beautiful 
sea of colors over here. I'm probably gonna walk underneath the tunnel of it, but I wanna show you guys what's ahead of me. So I think there's even like a cell phone tour stop. You can scan your phone and got a code here. They developed this before they used to have like a little ground you could walk underneath it, but I guess we could just walk here by the water and see what's going on. Got the beautiful lake over here. This is where the beautiful attraction is gonna start. All of this and look at all the people here chilling and enjoying this beauty over here by nature, by mother nature, you know. It's pretty cool. So as a matter of fact, you could walk in the back over there. It's like a little alley, you know, for people to walk and all that, so. And look at all the people over here. Yeah, it doesn't feel like you're in Newark. It feels like you're in another town, but like I say, the city has a lot to offer and it's doing a huge comeback, so. Let me just show you a free system view of what's going on over here. And you got the lake over here that's pretty beautiful. There's more trees on the other side, so it's so one thing I'm trying to get the shots, but then a lot of people are doing photography, so I'm trying to be careful I don't be photobombing them while I'm trying to do my own thing, but it's still pretty beautiful. Like, if you're a photographer, this is like a perfect spot for you to come here and take some nice pictures. Like, look, all the colors, everything over here looks like a movie scene. And then, of course, do not climb, do not pick up the cherry blossoms, so they got their own rules over here, you know. Not their own rules, but it's all like pretty rules. I guess people used to climb and get all of this over here but you know respect the code and keep this beauty going on and here you can walk over this and you see it all over here i was gonna go in that area but it has like a like a ribbon over there that you can't go in so i guess it's like private or i guess they're doing like some video shoot or an interview but let's keep walking forward over here to see what else can we find more things i've never been in the other side maybe i'll try to sneak by the other side so you know, this I got a couple of nice views too. Maybe they might have a better view of this over here. So and you got people there with their families taking pictures together. So you know, here you get more of this. But not much happening over, over this way, I think. The best was in the other side of the park where they got the uh, lake. And just to show you here, it's a view of before they come out. Looks like it's a cherry right here. Wow, it's pretty beautiful, gorgeous. It's nice. So now my mission is to walk the other side of the park to see what's going on. Because I always showcase this area, but let's go on the other side and maybe we get some nice views of the cherry blossoms from the other side. And these flowers are really beautiful, but the only negative thing is that once they disappear, they only last probably like two weeks, maybe more. And once they disappear and the leaves come out, it lets out pollen. And you guys know I'm allergic to pollen, you know, on my eyes and everything. So that's the only downside of the spring season that a lot of people they won't tell you about. But yep, like I say, everybody's different. Some people they have different reactions. Also, another cool thing I used to live in this neighborhood for literally almost three years, and I used to come here every time, you know. So now it brings me back a lot of memories when I used to live here. You know, it just feels like pretty different when you're visiting, you know. But it's still pretty cool, pretty beautiful park. Actually, over here, I think it's a nice view. Cause you get the view of the lake and you get the view of all the trees all together so i'm gonna show you here look at all this view this is one cool thing i like about new jersey uh that they have a lot of parks all over in different towns different counties you know recreational park and this one's probably one of the nicest parks you're gonna find in jersey right here in the heart of newark with the lake and everything you know it's just gorgeous and then you see all the colors over there the cherry blossoms which is awesome this is another side of the park that i've never been Reminds me a little bit of Central Park with the bridge and the arc like that. But I'm sure it's gonna take me by the side close to the uh, cathedral. So I'm gonna take a peek over here to see how it looks like over this side. Which I know is gonna be beautiful. Let's take the stairs over here. Let's see where this lets me to. Where does it guide me to? Because I've been around here, but I've never seen like this side of the park. I've seen the Belleville side, but you know, Get ready to visualize what the trees look like. This over here must be cool too. Over here they got more trees with the less crowd. And let's see what happens if I walk over here. This is something that I want to show you guys over here. They got like this thing in the middle and then the beautiful cathedral. So this is what I love about exploring. You walk every single corner and you see something Pretty interesting happening, so let's go ahead to see what's going on. 
if you hear the birds then just look at this trees you know and another thing you can see New York City over that way it's not far and you hear the airplane because Newark Airport is not far from here let's see if I can get a shot of the cathedral there it is cathedral of Newark New Jersey it's a beautiful church I've been in the inside and it's massive I actually forgot it might be a little bit late when I upload this video, but actually today is Good Friday, so that explains why I see this and why I see a lot of people here by the church, by the cathedral, but still, you know, pretty gorgeous church. So this is the other side of the park that I've seen it from that side, but I've never been in this side, and here you got the gazebo. We can just come here, chill, and enjoy the view. Over there's a the lake. I was over that side. This used to be, I think it goes around. So I'm gonna try to go and walk the other side. Okay, this park is pretty good. And another side that has a massive amount of cherry blossoms is in the other end of the park by Belleville. So I'm gonna go hop in the light rail and make it to the other side and show you what's happening over that side and wrap up the video. So I made it to the other side of the park. Usually I would walk it, but it's like pretty huge. So I took the light rail to get here. This light rail that you see. Then once you get on the other side, there's a lot of trees here with the flowers. So this is like literally the borderline of Newark and Belleville. So we're going to walk towards Belleville, Belleville to see the other side. This is tree is iconic because it literally has its own name. Patricia Chambers Cherry, Cherry Tree Grove. But then I got to walk all the way to the other side. So now I'm walking to the other side. This is more like, the, like a residential area, but this park connects, like I say, from Newark to Belleville, then ahead of me, you're gonna see a lot of cherry blossoms, which is pretty beautiful. So here you can see it's residential, like apartment complex, and the other side of the streets, but then it's literally covered with the trees and the flowers, so it's pretty gorgeous. But then once I go under a bridge that's over there, that's when you're gonna see all the beauty happening. And here I am passing this bridge, which you probably gonna see nothing happening here. But once I cross a bridge, Stay tuned so you can see what's happening. So here you go. Look at all the beauty, all the flowers going on over here. And if I cross the other side, there's plenty of them happening around here. The good thing there's not too much crowd over here, so this one helps. But yeah, you can see this. It's like if you're walking by a tunnel or trees, wow. It's just beauty right here. I gotta say, the weather's getting a little bit colder. Yesterday was 75 degrees, but now it's like low 50s, about to be in the 40s. Bipolar weather, but look, just beauty right here, gorgeous. And I love how fully bloomed some of them they are, like in their top notch, you know. You're crossing the other side, and it seems like they're doing some renovations in the park. And like I say, if you come to this park, it's better if you have a car, or maybe you can bike it, because it's like a massive park. And you don't want to miss out on all the events going on over here. And actually, I was Googling, this is still the Newark side. You know, Belleville's probably like a little forward, but this is still Newark. And you can see over here what's going on. I'm gonna walk over here, and it's literally gonna be like if I'm walking under a tunnel or trees. Here you got more, but I think the other side is still beautiful because it has the lake. But this one here is worth checking out. But then on the other side of the parking is even better because they're, they're like, Bloom to the fullest, so it's pretty beautiful. So let me just feel this. It's like literally in this full bloom right here. Pretty gorgeous. It's crazy because every time I come here, I mean, I always catch them, but I never catch them like this when the flowers are completely because it's, it's like a mess, and you know, they literally don't last that much. But it's, it's just beautiful. It's more over that way, but I think I've shown you guys like enough. So that was the end of my video exploring Branch Root Park during the spring season like I do every year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys get the chance at least once in your lifetime to explore this park. During the spring season, so you can see the cherry blossoms. So I'm going to end the video over here. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all and peace.